Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Batman, The Long Halloween, The Last Halloween. This is a new book from DC Comics. Let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. Uh, this book is written by Jeff Loeb with art by Eduardo Riso, Dave Stewart on colors, letters, letters and design by Richard Starkings. Uh, so, of course, obviously... Um, so, of course, obviously, the original series, The Long Halloween, was done by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Uh, unfortunately, Tim Sale uh, passed away a few years ago. Uh, so, of course, you know, I think doing this book uh, with Eduardo Riso, and I think, I believe this book will have many different artists, uh, which should be pretty interesting. But I'm glad that we're revisiting The Long Halloween. Uh, I'm glad to see a really fun Tim Sale cover. Uh, I don't know how much of this was actually planned. I actually haven't read Dark Victory, which is kind of like the second part uh, for this. But I know that Robin is introduced in this. Uh, Dark Victory is also a little bit more about Catwoman. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't read The Long Halloween, highly recommend it. One of my favorite, favorite series. It's such a fun mystery. It's also pretty relevant right now with the Penguin show going on. Uh, but in this issue, uh, Gotham City learns to fear Halloween once more as a terrible event threatens to destroy Jim Gordon's life and puts Batman and Robin's teamwork to the test more than ever before. In a city of liars, mass vigilantes, and criminals, can anyone be trusted? That's right. It looks like the Halloween killer is back. Uh, the holiday killer is back, I mean. Uh, so now, if you have read the first one, which I don't want to spoil anything, you know that there's a lot of implications to the holiday killer being back. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, I think this book just really brings you back into the world. Uh, it's odd to have Batman, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's Batman who's doing the narration, uh, to kind of like go through all these events, give you a quick catch up of like the players that you'll be following around. Uh, not so much like, it's not like they go in detail as to what happened in the original series, which I think that's fine. I think readers are smart enough to just understand, you know, catch up all these clues uh, and then it's up to you how far you want to dive deep. Do you want to read like a, a Wikipedia entry? Do you want to go back and uh, dive deep and read both Dark Victory and The Long Halloween? Um, so, yeah, really cool. Uh, Eduardo Riso is just a modern master of the comic arts. Uh, so his work here, definitely <clears throat> emulating the tone of Tim Sale, not, not the style. They have very distinct styles. But definitely the tone. I think Dave Stewart as well, just like really trying to recapture that same feel, the look of this gritty Gotham, darkness all over the place, heavy inks. Uh, yeah, just the obscurity here, and the even even on the outside when there's more illumination, uh, it's a really interesting uh, way that they do all this stuff. So uh, let's go take a look at some of the preview art so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, what I mentioned here, really heavy, dark colored pages, right? Uh, we catch up with Gilda and Harvey Dent. Uh, I don't want to go too much into the details of the story. I just really want to show you the tone, the vibe, the feel, the, the mood that, that they're trying to create or recreate with this approach. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I think Eduardo Riso, like I mentioned, just really, really trying to channel those things. Uh, and then we see some pages here with Batman and Robin on a stakeout. Uh, of course, Catwoman doing Catwoman things, sneaking into places, maybe places where she shouldn't be. Uh, I do think it's really interesting, the approach and the relationship between Batman and Robin in this book. Uh, Robin hasn't been Robin for too long, so he's a little bit more brash, a little bit more inexperienced. So we'll see how that plays out. This isn't even touching into the real mystery uh, of this book. and I don't, I don't want to spoil anything. Just know that it involves uh, James Gordon and his family. Uh, which also was kind of a, a big deal with the, the original one. So I think family is a very heavy theme uh, all throughout the, the Long Halloween series. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. As I mentioned, I believe there's going to be other artists doing different issues. I'm not really sure, uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I'm also looking forward to picking up. Uh, I hope my shop has the Eduardo Riso cover because that would be Really cool. Jim Lee has a cover and, of course, the main cover by Tim Sale. So, uh, yeah, 
if you're reading this, let me know what you thought about this. If you read The Long Halloween, the original one, let me know what did you think about that as well. Uh, and as always, thank you, for, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we're live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.